So if I've understood your evidence rightly, what you're saying is you're happy with the withdrawal agreement because it allows you to transition, but you don't know what you're transitioning <laughs> to. It's a little stronger than that for us yeah. in, in Diageo. We, we came out quite supportively of the withdrawal agreement, having ploughed through the 585 pages of fairly dense legal Join text the with, a, with a trade lawyer. But <laughs> it's, um, you know, when I came before this committee a year ago and I outlined the major concerns we had, I mean, first is the no deal chaos. Uh, and if this has passed, it does defer the moment of, of a kind of no deal Brexit for at least the period of transition. And it sets a direction of travel that we would welcome. We call for frictionless trade. And at least through the interim periods, the withdrawal agreement provides us with uh, a degree of frictionless trade. And it resolves the questions on the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic, which we talked about at length in, uh, a, a year ago. Uh, and critically, it provides clarity for our workforce who are British nationals in, on the continent or continental Europeans in the UK, again, um, uh, and if we don't have a deal, we are concerned for them. We're not a huge employer compared to some, but we have 300 people on both sides of the channel impacted by that, and they've been living with a huge degree of uncertainty, and they continue to live with, with that uncertainty. So for those reasons, we welcome the withdrawal agreement. We'd really love to see it be, be, be passed by the House and agreed by the European Parliament. But we do have this one concern, which is actually goes beyond the withdrawal agreement, which is this issue that I mentioned of the FTAs. There's very positive language from the European Commission, uh, a declaration that third countries should treat the UK as if it were a member through the period of the transition, but that's not a legally binding requirement. And where we talk to those countries and their governments, many are favourably disposed to doing that. But some face administrative hurdles doing that. In Colombia, it will take around two years to pass the legislation required to reenact the trade agreement with the UK, even though they want to do it. Um, and Korea, we're, we're not hearing yet whether the Koreans are minded to do so, and that's a big export market for, for us. So that's the one issue that for us is very significant that wouldn't be resolved even if the withdrawal agreement's passed. Um, it's quite clear that the withdrawal, the final version of the withdrawal agreement, limits um, and extensions extension of the transition period to one or two years in the absence of a trade agreement. Does that cause you concern? Yeah. I mean, it's taken us, just think of, well, previous experience would suggest that the ability to negotiate a very complex deal uh, is unlikely to, certainly it won't be done until the very last moment, as we're living through at the moment. Um, and the political declaration is, as I think it was the Daily Mirror, wasn't it, yesterday, it said, now for the difficult bit. Um, and it really is difficult. And I, I don't envy anybody who has to negotiate that, because as well as the fact that we've, we've done the withdrawal agreement and that's taken us two and a half years, what we've seen in the last 48 hours is the President of France basically saying us he has, has us sue and barrel, uh, sue and barrel, sorry, very bad print. I mean, he's, they, they've apps, you know, they're, they're all going to pitch in now, aren't they? We would, if we were negotiating a deal, we'd all be in there trying to get our bit of the pie. And I just think that's a, really a quite a difficult situation for us. I, and, and I also, I absolutely agree with what's been said. I think the political declaration is aspirationally excellent, but it is really a list of New Year's resolutions. And, you know, we don't know whether they'll still be there come the end of January. I think, I think anything that... Look, this is the position. What we have, we like what we have now. No deal is infinitely worse than anything we could imagine. Therefore, the deal on the table is better than no deal, infinitely, but it is not as good as the status quo.